Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to PGR4 Platinum playthrough and in the last episode we managed to get up to rank 7 on the master category. Really close to the top rank now, only um, well, less than 80 points off. So, in this episode we have got a major tournament to do, but it looks like we are a high enough rank to not have to do the qualifier. Asia timed major so we can skip that and go straight into the racing which is the first time we've been able to do that so um, I'm guessing you've got to be in the top sort of 10 or maybe eight ranks to be able to do that so we'll see what's going on here three hot laps in Shanghai and an eliminator so this is uh, yeah this is the one we are used to in C class we've done it uh, two times already once in the sledgehammer I think we may have used the um, Gallardo at one point in there. And um, which cars have we not used? 599, we haven't used that. And we have enough kudos to buy that. And the F430 as well. And that's the same pack, I believe. Yep, Ferrari, Ferrari Rosso. And there's some other decent cars we could use in here. 4GT is not too bad. The RUF RGT, the Corvette Z06. Uh, we've used the F40, the CTR Yellowbird. Yeah, there's, so there's quite a few we haven't used. Did we use the SLR McLaren? No, we haven't. That was from an invitation, wasn't it? I kind of want to use the um, 599. Because that's quite good. So we'll go for that one. I think it's one of the fastest ones in the C class to use. And we'll see what other Ferraris we've got in that pack into the shop and we got the 355 f1 which i think is one of the only cars that's been in all four pgrs actually uh, the 509 the f430 and the testarossa as well and that's been in a fair few as well possibly not in pgr1 but certainly in two three and four and uh, with that i think that's most of the car packs actually bought so uh, that's good and We'll select that. Plenty of colours for the 599. Plenty of colours. Never seen a green Ferrari. Let's go for that. That looks very weird. So, there's nothing special or new about um, any of these races, other than the fact that we're using a new car. That's the only thing we can say is any different whatsoever. But uh, yeah, this car's pretty damn good in a straight line. I don't think it's the best around the corners. But it's certainly uh, good enough to put up a fight. And I actually quite like it in green. It looks very odd. Obviously, you don't normally see a green Ferrari. I mean, that was just awful. It's quite strange with the yellow badge on the front. But um, not doing too bad. I mean, we've had a few corners there which haven't been brilliant. That was a bit late on the brakes. I'm hoping the straight line speed of this Ferrari can do it for us. I think there's one more corner to go. I should remember this track more than I do, really. Absolutely terrible cornering. In fact, it might not be quick enough. It's not going to be. I have to start that again. That was really poor. Really poor, so... Let's try that again. Maybe this car's only very good when you can really wind it up on the straights. I mean, not hitting that wall around here will save us a fair few seconds, I'd have thought. That's a tad better. And that's a tad worse. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it was going well up until that point. I'll carry on. 
At least better on that corner. Slow in, fast out. That's what I've got to remember. I don't know if that was any better. Right, just, just quick enough. Um, I'm sure I passed that comfortably in the Gallardo last time. But, um, oh, we've qualified. Well, duck, you know what I mean. We've, we're top for the next one anyway. Right, um, that may have been a lie, actually. Yes, we're nowhere near top. I don't know why I thought we were top. Top 16 is what I meant. But uh, now we're 24th. So um, we need 143, but uh, a total of 252. That's to go top anyway. So 259 is what we need to go through. Like I said, the cornering and the brakes maybe aren't quite the best. But it's got very good top end and mid acceleration. It's just whether we can get enough straights for it to really pay off. Then again, I could really do without crashing. Much like that. And I'm going quite wide on every corner, really, as well. Yep, yeah, it's been quite sloppy overall. Again, we don't really care about the uh, top times. We just need to get through the races. The minimum qualifying position. And that was awful. In fact, I'm just going to restart that there. Definitely not going to qualify. Right. I need to drive a lot better. That's already better through there. Just need to be a bit smoother, really. That's a bit wide. Right, that was definitely better through there. God, it does like to oversteer. That was much quicker through there, at least. Right, that was possibly better. We just need a few more straights. And I can break a lot... Um, uh, earlier here. That's much better. Not going face first into the barrier this time. It's always a positive. It actually feels fairly hard to drive quickly, this. Around the corners, anyway. And then we should be getting some time back on these straights. Not quite to the uh, sledgehammers level, but still, that was actually quite nice through there. Surprised. So 2.52, I believe, was the fastest overall. 2.55 is not bad, though. I did skip the leaderboard before. I wasn't really... Looking at what we were doing, but um, 43.6 was the uh, fastest there, so we're only four tenths off. But um, eighth overall, so that's not too bad. We can move into the uh, the final um, timed run or hot lap until the uh, street race. Right, so what is the uh, aim for us? Finish eighth or above. I seem to remember on this one. We always finish at least 10 seconds ahead of everyone else for some odd reason and it has like the kilometre rolling start. I remember this one quite uh, quite well. 
Longest rolling start in history. And we cross the line, going nearly 270, which is always good fun. Didn't need to break then. I, for some reason, I thought the corner was coming up. Uh, that wasn't brilliant round there. That was a bit better. Again, I seem to remember for some reason that um, we do smash the target usually on this race. Getting a bit more used to the car now. Far too late there. I really did do wish they put more mages in this game. I think someone said there was only like three. I'm trying to think where they all were now. Shanghai, then there's a street race major, I believe, in um, Quebec. And I do think there's one more, but I can't think right now where it is. nice right um, I think it's a big straight and then don't know where the finish is oh it's there yep I knew we uh, usually win this one by quite a lot we're not brilliant driving but again that's been the same every time all three times we've done this the first two races have always been really difficult and then you just smash the last round for some reason Maybe they do that on purpose to give you a bit of a challenge to start off with and then let you win right at the end. But um, into the street race for the final. Or is it an eliminator? Could be an eliminator, actually. And it means we do start in first again. And usually, yep, Calvin Barnes in the sledgehammer. I do remember that bit. So, um... If we do manage to win this, I hope we do, um, 50 points is a hefty amount, especially for where we are on the leaderboard currently. So it could put us up to um, a very decent position. <coughs> I can hear the jet engine behind me. Just uh, make my way casually past the bikers. Oh my god. Way too late on the brakes there. It doesn't have brilliant brakes, this. But luckily, this is a fairly straight orientated track, so. I was way too early on the brakes that time. Can never seem to get it right. But um, familiar scenery. Not that I'm complaining, because it obviously always looks gorgeous, but still. Familiar nonetheless. Yeah, we're cruising now. It's actually quite a good car for this track. Now I braked way too late this time. Or last time. And a bit better this time. Hopefully, um, Calvin Barnes doesn't get to first place or second place. Because he was... Um, oh, crap. Oh, no, that was actually all right. Because he's uh, second or first on the leaderboard. So I would really like it if he didn't finish second this time. So he doesn't get the maximum points. Right, that Jasek got eliminated. That's good, because he's in first or second place, for sure. At 
absolutely miles ahead. This is a really good car for this track. Don't know why I changed down. Uh, too late again. Calvin Barnes is definitely going to be second. Possibly the turbine superbike somewhere there as well. I think that Stephanie that was just um, eliminated was in the same car, the 599. Andreas, yeah, it's going to be um, Calvin Barnes in the second. I could have really spun him out, to be honest. Could have been a bit tactical about it, but... Oh, well. It'll extend the game for us. That might be a good thing or bad thing, depending on your point of view. And I think that's the first time I've hit the wall. But um, we've got some kudos. Not that we need too much anymore. We do need some to buy bike packs, though, for... Um, when we get to the arcade mode, and yes, it was Calvin Barnes. But uh, no worries, 50 points still, at least we get more than him. And we've seen this before, we won the major, same trophy as well. And we got 50 points, but unfortunately, all the people above us um, were in that major. So we only got one point, or one place, should I say. And... Um, didn't really catch up massively. What did I say before? It was... Was it under under 80 points? And now we're under 70 points. 64 points. Is that right? Behind Jacek now. He was uh, one point ahead of Calvin Barnes. So... Let's keep going then. And um, we move location again. We don't need to see this. I think it's going to America... Yes, it is. North America. Four championships available. East Coast Masters. Have we done this before? Hot Lap Eliminator Street Race. Speed Challenge. All in the snow. Now, I was tempted to use the um, Ultimate Aero, but I'm not really confident in the snow, to be honest. Ah, it's this one. I remember this. I got um, beasted by the McLaren F1 on this one. I could use the, um, the ultimate arrow just for... Uh, it's a speed challenge as well. No, I'm going to use the F1. I'm going to use the F1 for this one. Just because of the speed challenge, I don't think the ultimate, ultimate aero is quite suited because it's a bit slippy in the lower gears and not quite as quick as the others obviously on the straight it's a monster but um we're gonna go for the f1 i think and we've uh, we've gone through so much of the game now that it appears that we're just seeing repeat uh repeat championships especially because we've done a lot of a-class championships now Okay, this is a lot more grippy than the um, 599 was, and that was not really ideal. But of course, still in first place just because of this crazy acceleration. God, I'm doing awful. <laughs> still in first place. This is why I chose this thing, you just don't have to drive well at all. Still in first. Still driving awfully. But they should smash it down here as well. And we do. And I accidentally changed gear on the line there. But still, that was very casual, wasn't it? That just shows you how uh, mental this car is. 15,000 kudos and 27. That must be my all-time lowest kudos from an event. Because I kept hitting the wall. Um, well, lowest in-game kudos is what I meant. But uh, Calvin Barnes in the McLaren F1, so that's going to be the direct rival for the uh, street races and stuff. But we've seen all this bit before. Can't skip it as usual. 
but on top. Again, Calvin Barnes in this one, though. Annoying. We can't really get too far ahead of him. Right, time to run this time. And Calvin Barnes is in first again. Surprise, surprise. But Jacek isn't in this one. So, um, it's one good thing. So we can gain on him, at least. It's not going to be 70 points, but it's going to be something. Right, let's see if I can actually drive this okay this time. Oh, not for the best start. At least we can go down here and fly. And this reaches its top speed quicker than most things. Certainly better than the F50 when it gets to this range. It just flies up to 220 odd miles an hour. There you go, straight to its top speed. Uh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yep, not very good. Right, I've always said I was terrible at those. Uh, what is the rolling start doing? That was weird. Um, yeah, I've always said I'm not very good at judging the end of the straights. And there was a prime example. I've never been that quick on this track going across the line or across the uh, the end of the straight like that. Least better through there. So uh, break a lot earlier. We are going 222 miles an hour. I believe that's where it tops out, wasn't it? Yeah, around that. Yeah, you have to break way before. And luckily, at just about time that right that time. I'm four seconds ahead already, and I forgot about this bit. With the stupid ice patches. We really, really should remove them from the game. We have driven the snow a lot in this game, I have to say. Oh Christ, that was not good. I need to uh, break a lot earlier than I am doing. But again, this is just the perfect choice for the, uh, for New York, really. It's just a monster. Obviously, the ultimate era would be great down here. But um, even harder to slow down, for obvious reasons. But still, we can just go 220. That's fine. Did I time that well? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Maybe a tad late, but certainly better than before. Right, I think that was a very average lap, but eight seconds ahead, so can't really complain too much. And that's not actually Calvin Barnes that's in second. After I restarted that, it switched position. Absolute monster at accelerating with its central driving position as well. Maybe too late. Yeah. very deceiving when you have to break. You have to break before this ice. That was really slow across there. I don't know how you meant to take that bit. They've literally plonked the ice in the worst place possible. Too bad. I must be. I think we're doing a bit better. And definitely better around that section. Yeah, 11 seconds ahead now. This is just mental. This car. You just gain all the time on the straights back. Probably the best car all round to use, really. Other than on like very tight uh, circuits. Ah, 
and that was actually perfectly timed. Which is a first. Unlike that one. <laughs> that's more like it, that's back to normal. But uh, that was massively ridiculous. Fastest lap as well. Um, yep, yeah, it's going to be an easy championship, I think, with this. The street race might be difficult because it's hard to keep up with those AI on this track. But uh, we move on. And 17,000. And apparently Calvin Barnes did come second, even though he said that Sana was uh, second place for some reason. And that's uh, strange. I definitely didn't say Calvin Barnes was second that time. And we didn't restart it again. Pepe Ramirez is in near us as well on the leaderboard, I believe. I think he was just demoted to seventh when we got promoted, but um, moving on to number three. Can't remember what it is, though. And it is a hot lap. And Calvin Barnes in first again. No surprises there. And one minute 14. Now, remember, I didn't come first last time in the, in the F50 on this one. And it's not looking good so far. The shorter the track, the harder the target. Yeah. I'll see what I am at the first split, but I think that's going to be a restart. One minute. Uh, one second behind there. I literally just forgot there's three laps of this, so uh, that was ridiculous. No need to restart that, that was my bad. Might going a bit better this time. Doesn't slide anywhere near as much as the F50 this car. I remember I slid all the way around that bit. Well, that's definitely better, whether it's... Um... Oh, we are in first. Not by much at all, though. Seven hundredths. It's that same person second, when it was clearly Calvin Barnes last time. That must just be a glitch. God damn it. I cannot get these breaking points right. And this has got ice before this bit, I remember. There it is. Absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully we get at least second just from the first lap, just as a little cushion. That's much better. Just need to break a bit more conservatively, I think. Right, second place, Calvin Barnes in first. Oh... Absolutely awful. And there's the slide, actually. That was really not very good that time. I'll take a second place, though, if I can get it. I'm quite far behind on that, uh, that lap. Could turn it around, though, depending on how I do this bit. better through there and uh, this bit was quite bad as well oh no that was going okay until that last corner that's not going to be any quicker I wouldn't have thought no. Got one lap left to nail it. Too slow around there. That was just really bad.
Oh, three hundreds behind. Why don't I go down to first there? Too slow. I mean, too fast. <laughs> Four hundreds behind, and of course that happens. Get caught on the curb, completely ruin the lap. Oh, screw it, we'll take second place. Still really frustrating, this one's really hard. No, not good enough. Second no, that's good enough for what we need. Calvin Barnes putting in a solid lap there. I just made a mistake each lap. He was actually quite a bit quicker than uh, third place there as well. Man, he got a lot of in-game uh, kudos there as well. That's actually probably going to get him quite close to us on the leaderboard. I'll have to watch out for him in the street race now because of that. In fact, yeah, he's only a thousand behind. It's going to be a bit close. Um... I have to make sure we nail this next one. Right, eliminator time. We could play dirty here and take him out. Could play dirty and tactical. Depending on where he is. I think he said it started second there. And he's probably going to end up being somewhere near the top anyway. I'll probably end up taking myself out more than anything, though, if I do attempt it. Oh, took out someone back there. There he is. Smash. Wow, didn't really take him out, did I? <laughs> Pretty poor effort, but at least he got the bike in front of him or something. God, I'm taking myself out now. And now he's swearing at me. It's all going on. That was a nice corner. This doesn't seem to have amazing brakes either, you know. And it's slippy. Very slippy. But very quick. Now, I did notice that um, both the F50 GT and the McLaren F1 just don't handle as well as they did in PGR3. They're still batshit crazy quick, but not quite as nice to drive. Takes a lot of getting used to. But at least we're miles ahead in this. We should be alright in the street race as well, hopefully. Slides so easily though, that's one good thing. Just wanting to see Calvin Barnes' name appear on the eliminator list. It just completely slides. Just feels like it has no grip whatsoever. At least the acceleration is getting us out of trouble. Even if I can't drive this car. Very slidey that. <laughs> Absolutely terrible driving by me. Just get them eliminated quickly. Hey, Calvin Barnes is third this time. Not too bad.
To be fair, I don't think... Um, I've only driven the F50 GT and this in the snow so far. And, uh, and the Enzo in the snow as well. All the really good cars seem to just drive in the snow each time. So it's not really a fair comparison, but uh, obviously it's very slippy. But um, at least Calvin Barnes didn't come second that time. That's one thing. That Santa did come second, so at least he's dropped down a little bit this time. And we can get a little bit of a cushion for the final street race, but it's going to be difficult to catch him up anyway. But we can come second and still win the championship, so that's not too bad. Let's move on to the final stage. And I forgot how many laps of this track there are. Three laps of the bridge tour. Yeah, it takes ages, this race. One thing I do remember, and the F50 starts on the, uh, the snow this time and gets absolutely nowhere off the line. But we're on the straight. So, not too bad. We can absolutely ramp up the speed here. And the GT1's actually going quite quick there. In the um, slipstream of the Konigsegg. And didn't actually misjudge that braking point too badly that time. Bike was also flying down there by the looks of it. And already doing better than I was in the F50 on this bit. I'm getting a slipstream of the McLaren. It won't make a difference anyway, because we both uh, top out at the same speed. But of course it is Calvin Barnes right at the top. <laughs> well, somehow that worked for me. Terribly misjudged uh, and could have actually taken him out. That would have been beneficial, but I missed him. But um, yeah, this this uh, McLaren is absolutely OP on the straights. And it's going to be interesting because he's going to get in the draft zone for the remainder of the race. I'm going to try and make him not go in the draft zone. How badly can I misjudge it this time? I'm just going to have to break way before I need to. Out there. Oh my god. What on earth happened there? <laughs> Absolutely whipped to the left then. That was nuts. Still right on the tail. This isn't going to be a uh, comfortable win, is it? Although I took that bit fairly okay. Still on the first lap. 2 minutes 30. Maxing out. Braking. Scared. Hey, I actually judged the corner okay for once. And that wasn't so bad either. This is literally a um, nearly a 10 minute race. We'll see what time it is when we cross the line. It's going to be 3 minutes 15 or something. Still right there. Yeah, this is a 10 minute race, which is quite long for a race on PGR. Terrible corner. It's going to give him some room to try and catch up now. I think Pepe is in the Konigsegg, so that's why he's kind of staying with us. Because uh, since we hit top speed, it does catch up a little bit past that, I think. Okay. 
again, not judge too badly. I think we're pulling away slightly. To be fair, even though um, there's a lot of straights on the uh, the New York circuits, it's been a good mix in this um, this championship. A good mix of crazy top speed and uh, other stuff. Decided to break a lot sooner that time. The crazy thing is, it's probably quicker just to crash straight into the barrier. That is the quickest way round, I'm pretty sure. Because that way you can just go 220 miles an hour and scrape round the, uh, the barrier and wall ride. And the amount of times I've done that is quite silly. And it gets him right back into the game. And that is not good. Straight rag race between uh, the same cars. And he's winning. Until we hit the top speed and then it's going to be a draw. At least it shows we've both got the same top speed now. And he's braking. Uh oh. Car going very unstable around there. Just got to stay with them now. They actually drive really well on this track. It's these bits I can't quite get right. Just in the snow, they just seem to drive so well. At least I can get an advantage here. Only briefly, though, because we're going to top out. <laughs> it didn't last very long, did it? Get off me. Oh, nearly round for the, uh, the third lap. The third place is still in the, um, the picture as well. One more lap to go of this ridiculous race. That was actually quite nice. And some breathing room, finally. Yep, yeah, not too bad now. Honestly, the braking points on this is so difficult. That's definitely the best of taking that, though. And we've got max kudos. Not very, uh, not very much, though. 3,000. Ice everywhere. Snow everywhere. Skidding everywhere. judged. Ah, uh, not too bad. Always better to break early. That is one annoying thing, is the AI know exactly when to break. And they do it consistently each time. Whereas it's kind of hard to find your breaking points on this. You should use features and stuff, like these breaking boards, to help you break, but I never remember them. <laughs> if you practice track over and over again, you will get them eventually, obviously, but when you're doing three laps and changing cars as well, it doesn't really help. I can see why I couldn't catch this up in the F50. It's just a monster on the streets. I think the F50 only got to like 210 and sort of ran out of puff. I 
still went wide, even though I let off the accelerator there. And uh, I think one more straight to go now. And I took it fairly well for once as well. Getting a, a little buffer now. Even though I hit the wall, that's still better than I've done before. And that's quite good. Getting the hang of it a little bit more now. Yeah, that's much better. Much better lap. Possibly the fastest one, was it? No, apparently not. Oh, it could have been actually, but we've got max kudos, so we wouldn't have got the uh, kudos come up there. But um, beating Calvin Barnes at least, getting some more credits. Or kudos, actually. No credits in this, is there? 18,000 for that. But unfortunately, Calvin Barnes comes second, so I believe... Does he get 36 points or something? So he barely drops any compared to us anyway. 37 points so we only gained three points on calvin barnes but luckily none of the other competitors above us were in this uh, championship i don't think so we'll have a look um potentially we could be on sort of fourth place or something now right so again won the east coast masters and what a guess fourth place it is and uh, yeah, Pepe was in that one and none of these guys were. So 60 points behind now and Calvin Barnes shouldn't be in the next uh, event we do. So we should gain on him again. But fourth, we are very close to the top now. And we're going past October all the way to November into um, C-Class North American Masters Trophy, which we potentially haven't done yet. Or have we? No, we may have done this, actually. Five-stage event, and it could have been in the Rossian that we did this. Again, the same event's coming up. But we have to do it for those tour points. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed, as always, and I will see you in the next one.